Dubai police have now released a video detailing how Hush Puppy was arrested alongside his friends at Palazzo Versace in Dubai. Watch and enjoy. A team of highly trained Dubai police officers were able to confirm the gang's whereabouts and fraudulent activities. The Nigerian Instagram celebrity, who was arrested on multiple fraud charges for crimes committed in different parts of the world, boasted about his wealth and expensive... Oh, and welcome back to Hot Nature. Please stay tuned and subscribe. Raymond Abbas, also known as Hush Puppy, is considered one of the richest media personalities in Nigeria. Until recently, little did anyone know that he defrauds people. His arrest was made in Dubai after the FBI launched a manhunt for a group of Nigerian scammers who used the recent pandemic to exploit and scam unsuspecting Americans of their employment benefits. One of the affected Americans, named Stephanie, explained to CBS 17 that the scammers used her social security number to file a fake unemployment claim. Officials involved in the investigation told the network that the scammers started stealing information to claim unemployment benefits in 2017. The crime ring was alleged to have fraudulently obtained birthdays, social security numbers, and addresses of U.S. citizens. If the allegations made against Hush Puppy and his friends are anything to go by, then the Nigerian big boy was probably among those accused of stealing from the U.S. Hush Puppy and his gang used a scheme called Business Email Compromise, a form of cybercrime which uses emails to attack commercial and government organizations to achieve a specific outcome which negatively impacts the target organization. As if that was not enough, the Nigerian gang used fake robocalls to trick people into providing their personal information and this led to a lot of false unemployment benefit claims in states like Rhode Island, North Carolina, and Massachusetts. Even after Hush Puppy's arrest, investigators said that a majority of his accomplices are still in Nigeria. The Secret Service and the FBI then vowed to prosecute those involved and Hush Puppy, including his friends, were arrested at Palazzo Versace in a joint operation led by the Emirati police in Dubai. Reports by several media outlets claim that Hush was immediately extradited to the United States for trial. Meanwhile, Nigeria and the U.S. launched the battle for the possession of Hush Puppy following his arrest and detention by Emirati authorities, according to officials who spoke to Premium Times. Officials said the FBI led efforts to take possession of Hush Puppy because many of those he allegedly scammed in years of advanced fee fraud were Americans. They also expressed confidence that his exploits spanned across Europe, U.S., and Nigeria. Even though he has for years used his Instagram fame to cultivate a symbol of wealth and envy on social media, little has been known of his wealth and background. In 2017, Hush Puppy was first accused of being a professional scammer after he forgot to hide his email address on one of his screenshots, where he revealed a credit alert sent by someone he knew. Social engineering experts quickly found out that his email actually belonged to a woman who was based in Houston. Nevertheless, Hush Puppy remained silent on the allegation. From buying expensive Gucci wares to flaunting the most expensive cars, Hush Puppy lived every Nigerian kid's dream of having large sums of money and living a luxurious life. Constant parties, private planes, and luxurious cars, expensive drinks, and fashionable clothes were the main attributes of his lifestyle. This got a lot of people wondering if he really earned the money or if he made it illegally. Well, the doubts of his fans got cleared after it was recently revealed that the FBI, in collaboration with Interpol, arrested him in Dubai. On May 19, 2020, a video from CBS Evening News reported the story of how the United States Secret Service was investigating a multi-million dollar fraud scheme led by a criminal organization with ties to Nigeria. The team of fraudsters was said to have targeted the U.S. unemployment insurance system after finding a way to siphon the funds. Also, on June 10, 2019, Fox News reported that a Nigerian crime ring was being investigated for diverting funds Money that was supposed to go to unemployed Americans could be in the hands of scammers. According to the website Krebson Security, the Secret Service apparently warning states all over the country that a Nigerian crime ring is exploiting this pandemic and committing fraud against several states in their unemployment insurance programs. According to that same website, the potential losses are somewhere in the hundreds of millions of dollars. The crime ring was later 
link to Hush Puppy and his gang members after photos and videos posted by witnesses showed that he was arrested for scamming the U.S. Born Raymond on the 14th of June 1988, he became wealthy and successful after he moved to Malaysia. This man has gained the title of a Nigerian dark horse simply because no one knew exactly how he really made his money. The only known fact was that a new page in his life opened when he decided to relocate to Malaysia. Nowadays, he is one of the most popular people in Nigerian diaspora. Hush Puppy's Instagram is filled with fancy photos where he shows his not-so-ordinary way of life, including pictures of himself in different five-star hotels, elite clubs for celebrities, and clothes by the most fashionable brands like Gucci. Hush Puppy is a big fan of this brand and it is believed that he is one of their VIP clients. His flamboyant way of life definitely made him popular among Nigerians. While some loved him, some hated his way of life. All the same, everyone admired him for living his dream and being able to make so much money in such a short period of time. Due to the fact that he never revealed how he gets his money, a vast majority of his followers, including celebrities, felt that his wealth definitely came from fraudulent acts on the internet. However, the young man remained silent on such claims. Before his arrest, little was known about his source of wealth and background. He never opened up about his fortune, but he would always claim he went from rags to riches. In fact, it got so serious that some speculated that he invested his money into a profitable business which started booming. Nevertheless, the only thing that mattered was that he was extremely rich, and he never hesitated to show off his luxury on his social media. Days after his rival Mamfa got arrested for the same crime, Hush Puppy changed his Instagram bio from Billionaire Gucci Master to Real Estate Developer. This was one of the tricks he used to hide his fraudulent tactics. Of course, Hush Puppy's quick and sudden success did not go unnoticed. Some celebrities openly criticized Hush Puppy for posting so many photos of his luxuries without revealing his income source. For instance, Fino called him out in 2017 after he seemingly threw a shade at a rapper. Ice Prince said that unlike him, Ray Hush Puppy does not represent Nigeria, but the Gucci brand alone. Furthermore, Casey questioned the millionaire's source of income and added that he needed to be honest about how he made money, pointing out that many people in the music industry had to work hard to make their fortune, while Hush Puppy's income was really questionable. Hello and welcome back to Hot Nature. Please stay tuned and subscribe.